Hola, good people. This is your man, DJ Wolf D, coming at you with yet another Akai MPC software and hardware tutorial video. This is, of course, for people who own either the MPC Studio or the MPC Renaissance. Uh, this video is going to replace an older video that I recorded, uh, Sample Chopping. All right, this is going to be the new updated sample chopping video because this will be based on the MPC software update version 1.8.2. So anyone who has version 1.8 installed, which you all should, uh, you know that, or well, you should know if you had uh, the software installed before 1.8 came out, uh, Sample chopping is set up differently now. They added new features, so uh, you do it a little bit differently. So a lot of the people have been confused looking at my old video uh, with their new 1.8 software because it's not the same thing that they're looking at. So I'm like, yeah, let me just delete the old video off and create a new one, all right? So I'm going to try to run through this quickly and simply, all right? I'm going to drag an audio file into the MPC software. This is what I'm going to chop up, all right? So I'm going to double-click this. All this stuff is the same. So in this section, I could trim it, either the beginning or the end with uh, my mouse and the cursor, or I could use the Q-Link knobs on the hardware, of course. Matter of fact, I am gonna trim off a little bit at the end here, and I'll trim off a little bit at the beginning. All right, and discard stuff we don't need. All right, so uh, now it's time to chop. So in the lower left area of the software screen here, click the chop button. There are three different types of chops. A threshold based chop, which will be based on like the peaks and valleys of the waveforms. It'll set markers on the peaks and main peaks and valleys of the waveforms that it recognizes. Uh, you can do a BPM orientated chop, which will be of course based on the beats per minute of the sample if it's a rhythm based sample. And of course, a regions based chop where you just chop it up into whatever equal amount of parts you want. And that's what we're gonna do here, a regions chop. The default setting is 16, so it took this audio file and split it up into 16 equal parts to spread them out and slice them up uh, across the 16 MPC pads. I only wanna split this up into eight separate parts, so I'm gonna take that number down to eight. So I'm gonna split this up into eight regions. And here, depending on what, pad I press for all my chops, I could adjust the uh, beginning and end point of each separate chop, either with the mouse and the cursor once again, or with the Q-Link knobs once again, all right? But I don't need to adjust anything for this. So we are already ready to chop right now. So here's the new part. They added a new non-destructive convert um, feature to the MPC software, okay? so. If you don't need to do anything to your samples, to your chops after you chop them, meaning if you don't need to uh, re-chop it up again or pitch shift it or time stretch it or anything like that, then you don't have to bother creating new audio samples for each individual chop. You could just use the non-destructive convert and, and all of your chops will be based on the original audio file. It won't create a new one. Your chops will actually be based on the original audio file over here. So uh, if I were to hit new program right now, uh, I could click create events and it would dump my eight chops onto the eight pads, but it would not create any brand new uh, samples over here. Once again, all the, the eight chops will be based on the original audio file. And if I just wanted to, you know, slice things up one uh, chop, one sample at a time and place them on to a pad one at a time, then I would use the slice to pad feature, pick whatever pad you want to uh, drop it to, and you could do that one at a time. Just in case you needed to readjust a start and an end point of a chop every single time that you wanted to do it, then th that would be the way to do it, the slice to pad um, button. All right. We're not gonna do the non-destructive convert though. We're gonna base uh, our chops off of the older way of doing things where we're gonna create brand new audio uh, samples for all of our uh, new individual chops, okay? So this stuff should look familiar to anyone who uh, was working with the older software that was out before 1.8. The patch phrase option, 
sample the pad option, new program option. So once again, if you just wanted to take an individual uh, chop and adjust each one and drop them to a pad one at a time, then you would use the sample to pad button. All right, so that's not what we want to do here. I'm going to show you how to do two things, to just drop all of your chops directly to the pads, which is going to create, uh, in this case, I have eight uh, regions, eight chops, eight new samples. It's going to create eight new samples and put them all over here. All right. Um, we can drop, have them drop all uh, to all eight pads at the same time, or we can just create these eight new chops. It's going to put the uh, new audio files right over here, all eight of them, and we can manually drag each chop to whatever pad we want to in case I wanted to switch up the order, in case I didn't want them to be in this exact order that they are on the screen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's gonna put them on pads one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you didn't want, to, want them to be in, the, in that exact order, then you would not have uh, the MPC software drop it uh, to the pads. You would just wanna put them over here in the samples area and then you manually dra drag them over. So I'll show you how to do both of those right now. So first, uh, the manual route. It's the simplest thing to do. Under extract new samples, you just click new program Make sure that that's unchecked. That will be the default setting. That will be unchecked. The create, uh, create events box will not be checked. That was just checked because of course I just checked it a little while ago. <laughs> so this will be the default setting here. When you actually click this button, new program, it'll be like this. And all you do is click do it. You don't have to change anything else. That's it. And it'll, as you can see, it just put eight brand new audio files over here in the sample section. So when I click the button to take me back to the main screen, I can now drag and drop each individual one of these clips to, to the pads. As a matter of fact, I might as well go ahead and just do that. First one, so of course, I have the option to drop them to any pad that I want, but I'll just put them in the uh, same order that they were in uh, when I chopped them right now. Seven and this one to pad eight. So now we have our eight new chops laced up on our eight pads. All right. So there's one thing you need to remember about this. This does not automatically create a mute group for you. So that means when I press these pads quickly back to back, the samples are going to overlap each other. All right, so that means if I if I want each pad to cut the other pad off, I would need to create a mute group for these. And I have another short little like maybe five minute video up showing you how to manually create a mute group in case you don't know how to do that. Okay, now let's go back. Uh, let me click my main sample once again. I'm going to click undo to get rid of those new uh, chops that we just created. Okay, and we are now back to our eight region-based chops here. So now I'm going to show you how to have the NPC software just automatically place all of your chops onto the pads for you. Instead of just placing them over here and you manually having to uh, drag them to the pads. If you just want them to get dumped to the pads in the exact order that they're in, then you would click the same button, new program, and this time create uh, press the create events box to check that. The number of bars, you don't have to worry about this because it's going to create a sequence for you and actually program each one of these chops as like a quarter note, eighth note, whatever, into a two measure sequence. <laughs> I don't even know why Kai has it set up to do that automatically, but that has nothing to do with the sampling, the chopping, and you can just erase that sequence after it finishes with this here. So all you do is click the create events box and then click do. So it still puts all eight of the individual brand new samples, brand new chops, brand new audio files here on the right side of the screen. But this time, when we go back to the main screen, as you can see, it placed them all on the pads for me. And when it does this, it create a mute, creates a mute group automatically. So now when I press uh, my pads back to back with each other, the samples will cut each other off instead of overlapping. So that's
that's a very cool thing. You don't have to manually spend time to create a new group. It does it for you automatically. And once again, if I hit play right now, as you can see, <laughs> it created a sequence for me playing the notes from those pads. So if you don't want to keep that, and most likely you won't, no big deal, just erase the sequence <laughs> and that's gone. Once again, I don't even understand why Kai does that, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but that is it. That is how you chop samples with the new 1.8.2 version of the Akai MPC software. That's it. This is your man Wolf D signing out. Peace.